So guys, it's the last few days before Mother's Day and I thought for the first time ever, why not treat myself this Mother's Day? But like, I thought I'm a mum, I do a lot for you people. Obviously you're not my kids. <laughs> but we're all, as we're all mums, we do a lot for these kids, okay? And dads as well. I have done a lot for these kids, including labor these kids they didn't pay me to give birth to them i wanted to my youngest right oh my goodness his birth story you guys i was last minute.com on giving birth to him he wasn't he didn't come on his due date i had a feeling he wasn't going to come on his due date the next couple of days like i was like he's not coming today the next day he's not coming today and then the following day because i gave birth to him on the sunday um but on the saturday i went to i went to aldi um, and I had just had a feeling like this was going to be the last time I was going to do the food shop for like a while. And I stayed at home for like a week and that was it. People call it natural instincts. You could, you could call it natural instincts. I just feel like it just God speaking to me. Saturday, I just felt like this was going to be the last time I was going to go to the shop and I was, it was correct. I remember uh, that evening, I remember a year was after dinner, I started having like contractions. I was like, hmm, mm. the whole night I was just having contractions. I was like, yes. We are going to give birth. When I say I was last, I was last night that come giving birth to him. I just kept on telling myself, this is not the excruciating pain that I'm supposed to feel. Like, I'm not going to go to hospital so they can send me back home. Like, let me just ride this out. Let me wait for that really bad, 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 bad pain. <clears throat> I called the taxi. The taxi arrives. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even in a taxi for like, I think I was in a taxi for like less than five minutes. I felt like pushing seriously i told the taxi driver please i'll pay you extra if you if you just get, if you just get to this hospital quick yeah, and i called the labor ward i was like listen i'm about to i'm about to come yeah um could you could you like um could you get someone to come and meet me outside i've given birth by myself anyways um i i just like me and the midwife i'm just one of those people when it comes to giving birth i like me and the midwife or dad can be around but like at the same time, I don't want anyone else giving, um, taking care of the kids while I'm a neighbour. I can handle a labour. I can do it. It's just you handle the kids. Yeah, that was his job. On, and on top of that, there was traffic on that day. I'm traffic and I'm in, in a taxi. Driver did all of this. Did shortcuts. Oh, my goodness. We got to the hospital. Lovely taxi driver. He got out of the car, he started running, he ran to the reception asking like all the doctors could you got like I all all I saw was him running into the um, hospital entrance. And I see like and then I see two um paramedics they were walking, they were slowly walking to the ambulance. So I was like, these people they they ain't been called yet. So I called them, I was like, excuse me. Well, I'm waiting for the taxi driver to come back. Could you help me? I really need to give birth. The, the paramedics they were helpful with like Priscilla, breathe. I was breathing at one point. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna give birth to this baby in a taxi. And the taxi driver comes outside, and then I think one of the ladies from the maternity ward they come w outside with like a wheelchair, yeah, and they take me upstairs. And they're like, Well, should we try to send her to triage, which is like an, where they go and assess you to see how, like, if you're in active labor or not. And I literally, I was like, No, no triage, I want to push. And, and literally, the midwife that was pushing me. Right, she was like, no, 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 we were not sending her to triage. Let's, let's send this straight to the, yeah, they got me there. I'm, 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 I'm a mum. I know my body. Uh, afterwards, I apologised. <laughs> afterwards, I felt so silly. I was like, I was so dramatic. I had all those health professionals coming outside, running outside the hospital just to like, come and help me. But like, you guys, I got literally, I got onto the bed. And started pushing <laughs> yes that's the second time it's happened to me you know the second time it's happened to me the first time it happened to me were like literally i wanted to push i was in triage for quite, like quite a while and then they, they just had me laying there and they were assessing me and then i said to them i want to push and then a lady came and assessed me she was like oh gosh she is fully dilated and then they were like priscilla you yeah you can't be pushing in triage you got to send you upstairs my love yeah they sent me upstairs i got there started pushing but i even remember at the end the midwife said we need these type of shifts you know she gets on the bed she pushes because you know these babies they can have you waiting for long so after that story i deserve to treat myself during mother's day and so do you yeah and speaking of treating myself 
I decided to get myself some new trainers because my other trainers, they, they, yeah, they got damaged. Goodness, I was even wearing them damaged outside. I was, I remember the other day I was walking, I was like, I hope no one sees that my trainers are cracked at the bottom. And I thought, let me get myself like, you know, the classic Puma trainers. I got myself these beautiful, look at, the, oh, look at the gold detail. I just got myself these Puma trainers. In the other day, also, I think the last I went to the shops was like two days ago. A lady on the train, she had these and I just kept on like looking at her. Because I wanted to get, I was thinking like, for the past few weeks, I've been telling myself, should, I should get myself some Puma trainers. And like the other day, I think just seeing her just confirmed, you need to get yourself some Puma trainers. Like all of this. Um, yeah, and I want to like this Puma. I really like it. I'm off to the shops. I've decided also, as a Mother Day treat, I'm going to treat myself to some flowers. You know, like people buy them some flowers, fresh flowers, like from the supermarket. Yeah, not from those fancy, fancy, fancy places. No, I'm not going to the actual florist. No, uh, I'm just going to start with the basic and from the supermarket. I'm thinking of getting some tulips or whatever looks pretty. And um, and I'm going to put it next to the TV. So when I'm watching TV during the weekend and relaxing, I'm also like catching eye to my, you know, flowers that I got for myself for Mother's Day. So, and I might be getting some cake for myself. Yeah, cake. Sainsbury's Taste of Difference Carrot Cake. This is the cake that I like, go for whenever I feel like having cake during the week, which by the way, it's not on a regular thing. It's like, maybe like two or three times a year, I would like buy the carrot cake. It's not a regular thing, you guys. Also, what I wanted to do is sort of decorate the toppings with um, Rolo. So I, did, I tried this out um, back in 2020. I think it was during lockdown. My son's birthday cake i've been fancying a roller for like a few days now so i thought i'll just decorate the top of it with rollo and i've got custard to go with it after dinner <laughs> guys i just noticed my tulips are growing look at them i don't know why we have a random bubble wrap at the end of the garden i gen yeah this year, I just don't fancy, like, gardening. Those are my Poundland tulips. You see what I told you guys? You need to get on these Poundland tulips games. Next year, this is what I'm going to do. Just plant tulips and just be done with, like, gardening. This year, I just don't fancy doing a lot of gardening. But look at my tulips. Oh, gosh, they look fabulous. They're growing. Tuesday today. Mother's Day, obviously, has gone past. I spent the weekend, um, what did I do on the weekend? I went, I went, I don't go out on weekends. I don't like to go out on weekends because I just, I don't like crowded places. I don't like, if you watch my video I did recently about like how to live a soft life. But I mentioned one of the like struggles I have, I used to have was I don't like crowded trains. I don't like crowded like places in general, but trains were the worst. Oh my goodness. Like, you know, in a crowded train, as soon as you hop on, it's like everyone looks at you like, oh my goodness, you're adding to the struggle already. Like, <laughs> It's like when the train is like really, really like packed up, right? And then you get on, they're all looking, they're all eyeballing you, like you, you're like you caused the issue to because they know you're about to add to the struggle of standing in the train all squashed up. It's like just those few seconds of like when you get on the train and they're just everyone's just looking at you. <laughs> I don't like you. I did go out in the weekends, but I only went round like to the corner. You know, um, on Saturday, um, yeah, I told myself, wake up early, do all the chores, start cooking, like defrosting or dinner really early and stuff. My Saturday went really, really well because I woke up early. I took some kids to the park, but we went in like a different way to the park. Because um, for some reason, I always knew there was like this bridge near us. And yeah, um, so we went a different way to the bridge. And it was, like, it was just a really miniature bridge. And then like literally... <laughs> I had no idea that bridge is like 
round the back towards the park. Like, I had no idea. Here's me telling you about, like, a small miniature bridge. For, like, I don't know about you. I've become interested in water, too. It's a weird conversation. But, like, I'm really upset when I keep sealing, like, the plastic in the sea. Like, we've got Coke bottles. I'm sorry, but, like, I never used to be, like, an animal lover. I... I I've, throughout the years I've like grown to love animals like dogs especially dogs dogs are just they're like that I'm starting to love them like I've, I remember one time there was this dog right he was on the DLR I kept on looking at it I was like oh my goodness that dog is so cute I'm still a bit funny with cats and I watched Gogglebox David Attenborough yeah David Attenborough Know the one that does the animal programs the creature is in its natural habitat that guy with a nice voice apparently people with hangovers love him he's soothing to them he treats their hangover perfectly well but i watch him through goggle box and I, oh my goodness the animal kingdom is really ghetto really it's it's horrible the way they they kill each other oh my goodness yesterday i was watching the puma the pu puma i had no idea a puma was actually an animal um I, I, yeah and i'm rocking puma puma trainers out here i know i just thought like the animal was just random like they put in there but there's actually an animal called a puma and it's sort of a tigerish like don't worry your girl's dumb sometimes so then like i saw the puma mum like how she was like trying to protect her basically the long story short there's another puma he's a male puma he wants the female puma to produce um, children for him. But the female puma, she has kids from another from another bloke, from another puma. But like this male puma, he hasn't got any offspring. But for him to like get her to produce offspring, he wants to kill her offspring. Uh, this is what I mean. The animal kingdom is ghetto. The female puma, she knew he wants to like kill her, her kids. So she, you know, she tried to distract him while the kids ran away. And the kids ended up running away and she ended up like you know going like there was a there was a fight a fight started but like the whole time i'm like oh my goodness i don't want her to die like oh my goodness like she never used to like animals and then afterwards she didn't die but she had to go and find her her kids because their kids scattered around she spent 24 hours um trying to find the kids she ended up finding three because so she had four kids she ended up finding three of the kids and then i was like oh my goodness i bet that puma that male puma has eaten the fourth puma has eaten one of her kids because like she's looking for the fourth one she ended up finding him or her she found she found all four of her, of her kids i was like yo and i never used to like animals you know and, and obviously i think that's the perfect the perfect like tale of like of to like in this mother's day like vlog that i'm doing like us mothers we'll do anything for our kids like seriously the way that puma was trying to distract him to like not go and kill her kids today i'm off to um the shops i need to get some new pajamas for my kids so i'm off to matalan actually because yeah matalan sent me a voucher and i'm like i might as well use this voucher i never use no i've only used matalan vouchers once i'm gonna use this today because then at some point they're gonna be like she's not using her vouchers we're gonna stop sending her vouchers and i'm no no, I like vouchers. So I'm gonna go use the voucher. I'm um, also gonna pop, um, I want to get a nail, pink nail polish, cause I was watching The Apprentice the other day. And like, you know, it got to a point when it was the final four. And they, you know, when they interrogate them through those interviews about like their business. One of the ladies that, you know, that was interrogating the, the, the girls, well, well the, the other ladies about their business. Um, she had like this, she, every single time, it's her as well. This is the second time as well I've seen her with nail polish that I want. Yeah, she had this pink nail polish. I'm like, I need that nail polish. Last time I saw her, she had that emerald green nail polish. I was like, I need that nail emerald green nail polish. Yeah, I'm treating myself to new shoes. Um, because I was editing my vlog, um, that I did. The vlog is actually going to come after this vlog. I was editing, I was like, those shoes look good. You know when you're editing and you're like, why did I not head to the checkout with that? I had one of those moments, so I'm going back to Primark. I have to go back to the big Primark store because my local Primark, they don't have my shoe size. They never have my shoe size. Always five, five, four, six, five, four, six, five, four, six. They never have, and they always have a bunch of them. I, like, they never have my shoe size. 
all my shoes that I bought from Primark, I've always been from the big Primark school. And also, I want to go and treat myself to some Galaxy um, hazelnut chocolate. I haven't had a Galaxy hazelnut chocolate in years. I've, yes, I'm going to go and do that. Oh, that one's nice. changing my mind about the shoes no i didn't get them but i got some another pair of shoes i'm gonna show you these don't you think these are nice right i saw them as well like last time and i was like those are really nice and then yesterday there was literally one size eight left um a size seven size eight um but originally since a kid i've been a size seven uh but yeah size eight you know you know like if you've had kids your feet becomes big these reasons why i got this it's a funny story they remind me of these shoes i um got in sainsbury's um a few years ago maybe two no i got them when i had my son so he's um turning three next month so three years ago oh it's been three years since i had him oh okay that's cute i got them the same year i had him literally like this these were these chunky like Again, yeah, they had like all of this, like zigzaggy. They look look like this. And then like I loved, loved them. And my little one who's turning three, he, he I feel like he put it in the bin. He put my I for I, for weeks and months I was literally I was looking for my shoe. I couldn't find the other pair. And then I was like, I'm pretty sure this kid's put it in a bin. Because he had this thing about putting things in the bin kids have a thing about putting things in the wrong places and i, I it, it got to a point where i couldn't find it anywhere and it was like it's, it's gone and it's it, seriously even now it's been three years i still haven't found the other pair it went in the bin so when i saw this i was like oh my goodness they remind me of the shoes that i got from sainsbury's because you know sainsbury's shoes sainsbury's like yeah sainsbury's obviously they're more expensive than primark shoes and i feel like these are very versatile they go with anything they go with my next brown coat um from from the emma willis um clothing collection my favorite bag right now because it's got a hint of brown in it this as well has got like a hint of brown here this, this is going to be just a really nice vibe walking around looking decent as a mum, you need to walk around looking decent you don't need makeup just if your outfit is on point seriously i'm telling you oh i used up my matalan voucher and got the kids some basic stuff and when i got to the checkout they were like oh we're gonna give you another 20 percent off voucher <laughs> i was like oh no i do oh I, they sent me a booklet because when they sent me a voucher they sent a booklet oh yeah i can yeah they sent the booklet and obviously you see the 20 percent off this little set it's 10 pounds I really want to get it for my son. And then I saw another thing um, in there for my son in the store. Maybe like some mum jeans for myself. Because I really want those mum jeans. I want like a proper fitted one. Yeah, because the last one I got, it was quite baggy. Oh, also in Primark, these, it says one pound. But it's, when I got to check out, it said that it's been reduced to 50p. Face mask. This I got for my daughter. Uh, I've gradually bought all the kids their own individual face mask popped into poundland because um we needed to get some notebooks um for the kids like i always get poundland notebooks but now like ever since i've been like in this like leveling up sort of like journey in my life i feel like i need to get my kids like fancy notebooks but yeah when we popped in there um i saw right they had the mother's day section stuff and i saw this you know i told you i want to get um pink nail polish because i saw that lady from the apprentice yeah her and then when i went into poundland the shades that i was looking for 
is the, this pink one here. And then this one over here is like nudie. But I think this is almost the shade. It looks like the shade that I was looking for. Like it was £1.50. So I'm super happy with that, you know, because I was going to go into like boots. Oh, yeah, boots are super dry to like find something from Rimmel or L'Oreal. Like I didn't mind. But yeah, I really wanted that. But then it was super convenient that it was in Poundland. Got this lip gloss um set. £1.50. Again, a pink. But then there's the rose nude, which is like the darker shade that I'm interested in. The Poundland nail polish. I don't like it. <laughs> like I'll try the pink. I haven't tried this nude one yet. Um, yeah, it's a really poor quality. Like it's it's going in the bin basically. But what I did find as an alternative is this one from Essence. It's um you can pick it up in Wilco. It's the Essence Shine Last and Go gel nail polish and you guys so far i like it i've only done one coat um i need to do a second coat but like oh my goodness when i do my second coat this is gonna look really really nice it's, and like because i like it so much i'm gonna pop into wilco next week and like get some more nail polish <laughs> <laughs> 